Howdy folks, Joel here at Earth Tools and we're going to show off a little Earth Tools invention. I had mentioned in a previous video that uh, we were designing our own adjustable axle extensions for the walk behind tractors and voila, we're here. Got these things back from the machine shop. So this is an axle extension system that allows easy and fast adjustment and it actually covers the full range of adjustments that people typically want on a walk behind tractor those being uh, most likely the ability to use the rotary plow when the act when the wheels are slid into their uh, kind of minimum width position and to reiterate as, as mentioned in earlier videos and on our website for the rotary plow to function properly you want something in the range of 16 to 18 inches between the two wheels that is a free space between the two wheels now, we've only got one axle extension mount on this tractor for purposes of the video. This other side doesn't have it on there yet because uh, we're kind of in a rush because it's, it's April and we're busy. Um, anyway, so with this adjustable axle extension slid all the way in right now, if I measure from the center line of the tractor out, we have about 9 inches right to the inside of the tire, which is going to give me 18 inches if I've got the other axle extension on there as well. Perfect for a rotary plow. And then removing this pin, and simply sliding this axle out, finding the hole, and now if I measure from the center line out, I've got 17 inches, so you double that, that's 34 inches, perfect for straddling a 30 inch raised bed, and of course you have all kinds of positions in if you want to customize the axle spacing, these, these holes are drilled in one inch increments down the stem. So installation of the system is, is very basic. I'm going to go ahead and jack the tractor up. These cheap floor jacks can be bought at any auto parts store for about 30 bucks. And if you're doing a lot of adjusting on your wheels, they're a, they're a nice investment to have. Otherwise, the walk behind the tractor really doesn't weigh that much. Get under there. And, you know, you... You can do work by just kind of jacking it up with your with your shoulder as you slide this thing around, uh, or do it the way you saw me doing it here. But if you're installing or you know removing the extensions, obviously it's nice to have it off the ground a little. Obviously, you see I don't have an implement on there because then way I don't have to deal with the weight of the implement. These ex extensions fit both the BCS and Grillo tractors. Any tractor with a differential on the axle, you wouldn't want to use them on a solid axle tractor. As you can see, we've got an inner hub, which is made with a through hole. It's in, we intended to have this part uh, bolted to the inside of the rim rather than the back, but you could put it on either way. It really doesn't matter. Um, but the, the spacing that we've just achieved is, is figured with this bolted on the inside. If you put it on the back side, it's going to move things back about a half an inch and give you about a half an inch more width, which isn't ideal for the rotary plow. And of course, this is just bolted right onto your axle. Uh, there's a brake drum there. Now if mounting these to a Grillo tractor, the Grillo tractor has a protruding bolt right in the center of the brake hub. And in that case, we would supply these adjustable axle extensions with a spacer which would go behind this post. That is, we would, you know, before we mounted this to these studs, we would slip this spacer on there first and that steps things off enough that we're not interfering with that inner nut. So that's it. Um, this 749 BCS tractor is actually shipping to Lakeland College, so if, uh, if you're watching, you're, you're on, your tractor's on video here, so this will be shipped out today. Of course, obviously, when you put this on, you want to make sure the holes line up, because the, the holes are only in one side of the tubular. But yeah, pretty interesting little system that achieves uh, a lot of... The goals that people want to have in terms of axle spacing with their tractor, find the pin. These pins are a common pin that's available at any uh, farm stores. It's a 516 D-ring pin. And the other thing I want to point out about this system, it allows the addition of barbell weights. Now we have barbell weight hangers that we've manufactured for years that just bolt onto the center of the hub and protrude in a one inch solid steel post to accept one inch center hole barbell weights, which are very common standard barbell weight plates. These obviously won't accept the one inch, but they accept the big two inch Olympic weights. 
you just slide those right on there, get another one of those pins and put it in the end to keep the weights from sliding off, and then you've got you, the ability to add wheel weight with adjustable axle extensions, which is something we couldn't previously do. So, of course, you would stack up as many of those as you wanted on there. If you have smaller diameter ones, they can slide inside. Now, if this is slid all the way out, obviously you're not going to have any protruding post and you're not going to be able to hang any weights. But at least in the, with, the, with the adjustable extension slid in, you have the ability to put weights on there without having to remove the adjustable extension, which is something you had to do on previous versions. So that's it. Enjoy. Thanks.